The Tampa Bay area in Florida is full of history and iconic buildings. One piece of stunning engineering is the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. However, the impressive landmark carries a dark legacy, having come to represent years of tragic occurrences with their vivid paranormal aftermaths. The construction of the original Sunshine Skyway Bridge was completed in 1954 and was a game changer for travellers and commuters. Traversing the deep waters of the Lower Tampa Bay, it replaced crossing by ferry. Expanded to four lanes in 1969, the over four mile long bridge stood sturdily over the waterway for the next decade until, in 1980, a series of tragedies struck. Strangely, two separate disasters occurred near the bridge only months apart that year, resulting in its infamy. They also made the Sunshine Skyway Bridge area the unfortunate location of many untimely passings. The Blackthorn was a 180-foot ship used to maintain floating buoys. The cutter was docked in Tampa Bay in early 1980 and was undergoing a major overhaul before returning to service. On January 28th, the ship was in readiness to set sail out of the bay. However, when attempting to leave the port that night, the Blackthorn was involved in a horrific accident. A lapse in communication saw the ship colliding with an oil tanker, the Capricorn, which was floating in the bay. The ships had been unable to make contact over the radio to signal that they were passing. The Blackthorn's captain was away from the deck and had left a junior officer in charge. When the Capricorn blew two short whistles to indicate that they were wanting to pass starboard to starboard, the inexperienced officer was not aware of their meaning. The Blackthorn made attempts to avoid the oncoming Capricorn, but the two ships collided, miraculously not causing much damage. However, the Capricorn's anchor became wedged in the side of the Blackthorn's hull, and as the ships moved apart, the Capricorn dragged the Blackthorn over until she capsized. 23 Coast Guard officers perished that night in the waters near the bridge, one of them an 18-year-old apprentice called William Flores. He threw life jackets to the other seamen and even propped open a life jacket locker door with his own belt, saving many lives. Sadly, Flores himself sank into the depths of Tampa Bay with the ship. Only a few months later, on May 9th, further tragedy occurred as John Lero piloted the bulk carrier Summit Venture. While attempting to negotiate a narrow turn in the channel, the ship encountered a sudden squall, carrying heavy rains and massive wind gusts. Despite extreme exertion, Lero lost control of the heavy freighter in the intense conditions, and the gigantic ship struck one of the bridge supports. A large chunk of the bridge's roadway broke away and fell the 50 metres into the water below, taking a Greyhound bus and six other vehicles with it. 35 lives were lost. The damaged bridge was later demolished and replaced with a new Sunshine Skyway bridge, but it continued to be a scene of tragic events, with to date 314 people taking their own lives there. Florida State has installed six emergency phones to a crisis hotline on the bridge with 24-hour patrols and cameras constantly monitoring and steel nets preventing access to the outside of walls. With all of the lives lost and heartbreak, it's no wonder that the Sunshine Skyway Bridge has become a notorious hotspot for hauntings. According to both Tampa locals and tourists, the 35 souls who perished in the May 1980 disaster never left. Many motorists crossing over the bridge have reported strange and unexplained occurrences during the years since the tragedy. One Tampa man has claimed that while driving across to work one morning, he noticed a weird phenomenon emerging from the thick morning fog. He blinked and even cleaned his glasses to check his perception. But sure enough, there, above the waters of Tampa Bay, floated a phantom Greyhound bus, badly damaged and with water dripping from it. The sight was so bizarre that the man nearly braked in the middle of the bridge, but his next sighting was even stranger. From an open cavity in the bus's side, where the door must have once been, the figure of a woman in dripping wet clothing appeared. 
She smiled and waved to the man with her gloved hand, as through the bus's many windows, the man was seeing dozens of other apparitions, looking just as waterlogged as the waving woman. The man was so distracted by the sight that he had to swiftly swerve to avoid a collision. By the time he looked back, the mysterious hovering bus had disappeared. A second story involving the disaster was reported by its sole survivor, Wesley McIntyre. The traumatised man experienced haunting visions of a young girl in his dreams for years afterwards. Every night he would dream that he was beneath the water in Tampa Bay. The figure of a young girl would float towards him through the water, but when he reached out to assist her, she opened her mouth in a silent scream. Awaking with a start, he would see the same girl standing over him in the darkness, her long hair and bedraggled clothing dripping water all over the floor. Immediately sitting up in bed, McIntyre would always find the room empty except for a pool of water on the floor beside him. As well as phantom buses, several spectral, depressive persons have also been spotted along the edges of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Travellers crossing over the bridge have often reported stopping their cars to offer help to those they assume are potential jumpers. The sad phantom figures will smile wearily at them before vanishing. Other unsuspecting motorists have had eerie and unexplainable encounters with seemingly one particular spirit. Many driving late at night have been shocked to see a blonde woman standing alone in the road. Both toll booth workers and motorists have witnessed the woman hitchhiking around midnight. Some slow down to assist to find that on seating herself in their car's passenger seat, the woman suddenly vanishes. Many comment that the woman becomes extremely nervous in the car, anxious to get to the other side. Others have spotted her image in their back seat. Either way, the woman's spirit seems unable to escape her ceaseless crossing of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Other odd reports include apparitions of waterlogged hitchhikers, unexplained chills permeating drivers' cars, and sightings of phantom cars hovering over the water. One local man has reported to paranormal researchers that the unfortunate events and phenomena surrounding the Sunshine Skyway Bridge may even date back to when it was first built. A then 27-year-old fisherman called Charlie Williams was quoted by authors Blundell and Bohr in 1983 as stating that the bridge is cursed following an industrial accident during its construction. Williams claimed that a building worker fell into some wet concrete and is still there in the bridge's structure. 